Hey guys, welcome to FM Driver School. You're with me, your fully qualified driving instructor, FM. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can pass your driving test first time. Now, we do understand the waiting list is five to six months, so you've got this additional pressure of trying to pass your test so that you don't have to then re wait for another six months if you were to fail. Now, as a fully qualified driving instructor, we're trained to teach you guys the right things that you need to study to pass your driving test. And don't forget, we chat to driving examiners. We ask them how they mark our students, what exactly are they looking up for, what's a major for, what's a minor for, so we know exactly what you guys need to pass your driving test. All right, let's get straight into it. Now, I could start with the easy things that you need to be taught in your driving lessons and therefore apply in your driving test. But we're actually going to start with the hardest part, which is roundabouts, because I do feel as an instructor that this is where if you make one mistake, it's very easy to get that major fault. So what is a major fault? A major fault means that you'd fail straight away instantly if you get a minor four the examiner still allows you to carry on with the test maybe you'll still get a chance to pass at the end of the test but with a major you'd fail straight away now with a random but if you make one mistake and you're unable to correct it in time it's very easy to get that major four we're going to show it to you in a bit but my first tip as a driving instructor, as well as, as I said, speaking with driving examiners, what they really want for you is that you apply the correct routines and then go into the correct exit. Now, how do we apply the routines and go the correct way? The simplest answer is to count the exits. If you count the exit, not only will you go the right way, but then you can also apply the routine by checking your mirrors, by indicating to come off to the correct exit. Now, if you do go the wrong way safely, you don't fail. But if you go the wrong way, the examiners may get a little bit annoyed because they do want to follow a certain route that they're doing with you. We're going to show you now an example with a student where we show you how they count the exits. Good. And uh, what speed is the road? Can you see it? 40. Speed up. Go to gear three. Okay, we're going to take the third. E there we go. That's three. We'll take the third exit. Which lane do you want to be in? Right. Right. So check our mirrors. Interior right. Indicate right, please. Is there a gap? There's a gap, isn't there? Let's see. Yeah. Get yourself in. Double check and get in. Good. Okay. Cancel the care. Come off the gas a bit. Reduce the speed so we can have a gap between us. Come off the gas. Okay. Good. There's a roundabout. First action is mirrors, interior right. Let's do it. Move your head, indicate right. Great, clutch down, go down to gear two. Gear two, please, gear two. Look right, there's a gap. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, this guy should indicate. Keep going, count the exits. One, hold that speed. There's two, go around, go around. Now check your left mirror, indicate left. Move across, please, move across. Move across, this is where we're going. Okay, come off the gas a bit. And cancel the indicator. Uh, check your mirrors. Interior left. Move your head. Interior right. So the only fault there I would say is not fault, but what you could have done better is a bit. um, you should have moved across a bit more. Watch this guy. Come off the gas. Check our right. So there was a really good example of how we counted the excess and as we counted we applied the routine and um, because we we're taking the third exit we were on the right hand side and as we went past the second first second exit then we checked our left mirror as you saw in the video the should uh, the student should have moved in to the left straight away but you know we slightly delayed ourselves no problem at least we moved but the key was to count the exits so that we go to the correct exit and number two apply the correct routine we're now going to show you another example where we take a different exit but you're going to see road markings and this also affects us as we're driving on roundabouts but guys don't forget to like share and subscribe with fm driving school click the button on the right hand corner it's only a little button but makes a big difference to our channel and don't forget to go to our site fmdrivingschool.co.uk for more tips in how to pass your driving test first time so we're gonna go second exit on the roundabout look at the arrows on the floor tell me what you see Check out right okay. So come off the gas a bit. Break, break. Which lane goes straight? The left one. Look at it. Is it the oh, left? Oh, no, the right. Check out right mirror. Push out to the right slightly, yes. Okay, but look at the cars coming. Second. Yes, brake and clutch down. Go to one. Look right. 
Go for it a bit more. Look at his car. Go, go, go. We're going to go. He's not coming around. Look at this car. He's coming around. He should indicate. That car. Well, he's not indicating. He's a learner as well. Get ready. Go, 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 go. And we're going to make it. Change over. Okay, go, go, go quick. Be on the left lane. Left lane. Like this. Check our left mirror. And this lane here. Now speed up. Now come off the gas. Clutch down gear too. Check our right mirror to move back in. Good. Okay, hold that speed. Watch what happens to the road in front of you. Like you can't see it, so I'm going to tell you the answer. Be on the right lane to go straight. You have to be on the right lane. You'll see why in a bit. Clutch down. Brake, sorry. Brake, clutch down. Okay. So there was another example where we had to be cautious and see the road markings. Now as a student, when you're doing your driving test, it's very easy. Your taught second exit is normally left lane. And you know, you might see the road markings extremely late. If you don't see it, then unfortunately you can get a major for So for example, you're on the left lane and you decided to go straight, you can actually get a major for So this is what this video is about. We're just trying to show you how uh, one of the easiest mistakes that you can make is possibly not seeing these road markings. And now it's very hard to correct if you find yourself in the wrong lane. Or as I said, maybe you didn't even see it and you decided to go straight purely from the natural assumption that the left lane goes straight. So as you can see, these are very, very easy easy mistakes to make in the driving test that's why it's very important to watch this video to the end we're going to give you more examples of some of the common mistakes and mistakes that are you know like i said if you commit it very hard to correct there are ways to correct it we're now actually going to show an example of a student committing a very easy mistake on a random but you didn't even realize it we're going to show you and unfortunately you'd fail so guys we're going to be taking the third exit on the roundabout So as we've explained um, in the writing in the text, the reason why that was a major for the student did initially look left, but then we stopped. Now things do change constantly, and as we moved uh, ahead again, the road was merging in. We had to check the left mirror and merge slightly towards the middle, then back towards the left. Now our student didn't look again left. Um, he just assumed, oh, that was more than enough. Let me just move across. Now this is considered a major fault. The student obviously didn't realize it's a major fault, and naturally he would think that he'd pass his driving test. You can go to our, our channel FM Driving School. You can see the homework test there as well. Now um, that's how easy it is to make a major fault. Now, um, this particular point took longer than expected because I was showing you a few examples. We're now going to show you something slightly different, uh, a maneuver now that students could fail on. And you said parking the base yep. is safe. Yeah, anywhere you want.
Well, you only get one chance. Is you want to fix it? Yeah. Okay, you fix it. Done? Yeah. Turn the engine off. Let me check. the engine back home please okay whenever you're ready move out let's face this way please Okay, let's turn right at the end of the road. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go through exactly the major faults that you students may commit and what the examiners are looking out for. We will make a part two video of how to pass a driving test and hopefully not, don't have to then retake a driving test so therefore having to wait six months. We'll make a part two video a bit later on. Let's just show you in this particular maneuver the most common fault that could happen is uh, not doing your observations correctly. Now this student here um, as he pulls in checking the right mirror, checking the base, gets himself in but as you're pulling out as well you have to be wary of cars behind you so uh, watch what happens as soon as it gets in nicely obviously if the driving examiner is not sure if you're in thoroughly he will get on check and um, obviously if you have choices as well look there's so many bays you don't have to make a hard by picking bays that are so close to other vehicles so the van here on the right is sticking out into our right side of the bay making it a bit tricky don't make it hard for yourself but i know you you guys are uh, you know uh, nervous and tense but always try to pick the easiest bay now here the key is as a student look at the student right now very good student checking look at the observation he's doing thoroughly now in a car park there's so many hazards cars other learners trying to practice maneuvers pedestrians walking through kids walking through just to get from one side to another side not really caring about who's in front of them or who's behind them so really really important that you check your uh, observations thoroughly this is the most important part when you're doing the maneuver here students sometimes you know they just see it once think it's clear and go back no it's not enough things are always changing as we saw um, in the previous mistake with the student 
anyway as i said we're gonna make another video because this video was a bit longer than expected where we're gonna go through some of the common mistakes that students can make in the driving test and how you as a student can avoid these mistakes um you might have a test coming up maybe your your test is um today or tomorrow and you just want a quick recap of how, of how you can pass your driving test well this is definitely the video for you we're gonna make a few more videos so do uh, subscribe to our channel fm driving school and don't forget to like share and subscribe and also go to our site fmdrivingschool.com uk where we post so many information that you need to in order to help you pass we're everywhere on instagram facebook just look for at fm driving